All of these Migos and Impossible Migos, my name is Taffrey16, welcome back to another reaction video, and welcome to this month's Benidorma Doubleheader. So, it's been an alright series so far, and you can tell they're still trying to deal with the influx of new characters and the unexpected script upheaval, uh, but they're still making a go of it, and it's, it's they're still, they're still, I think, trying to find their footing a little bit. And let's see how that progresses with episodes 4 and 5 of series 4. <laughs> I do miss Marvin, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I hope that man's happy, whoever he is. Oh shit. Well, tis the season. Oh, you didn't go. I knew you wouldn't. No point spending money on another flight when we've only got a few days left. My flight has been cancelled. Has it? Why is that? <laughs> Why do you think? I don't know. Oh, it's not that volcano in Lapland, is it? You think this bit of rain had put it out? Bit of rain? It's practically a tsunami. What? This? Oh, it's just a shower. Me and your father had worse weather than this on holiday. Bridlington, 1958. Do you know, he got struck by lightning four times that week. I blame that metal plate in his head. Do you remember? <laughs> Jeff used to stick fridge magnets on him when he was asleep. <laughs> <laughs> right, That's we funny. have some breakfast? <laughs> Da, 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 da. Dear pressure. Two pairs of carpet slippers completely ruined. Who brings carpet slippers on holiday? If you're on holiday in Benetton, not the Orient Express. I beg your pardon. And my hundred and twenty pound air dryer is completely knackered. Oh yeah, and don't think we haven't heard about you running your legal air salon from your room. You're looking not charging your business rates. Oh brilliant! Excuse That's me, the point. our apartment is totally flooded. Yes, I know. We are all sitting in the same boat. But it's not a boat. That's my point. <laughs> it's all bits and bobs floating down the corridors. I'm worried about kiddies picking them. Up because some of them are of, well, shall we say, a personal name. I've been wading through water all morning and my plastic's gone soggy. I've got a case full of clothes ruined. What are you going to do about it? One at a time, please. We're going to get nowhere if everybody keeps talking at once. We're all going to die. We're all going to die. <laughs> it's a terrorist attack. We're all going to die. I think that's a little excessive. <laughs> Yeah, she's oh, right, it is a terrace. Well, you've obviously not thought things through. A rainstorm in Spain in the middle of summer. It was 28 degrees yesterday. Oh, no, you just listen to me. There are dark forces at work. It's the Taliban the brothers. Today, this place will be a pile of rubble covered in dead bodies. It'll be like 7-Eleven all over again. 7-Eleven? <laughs> it's not a terrorist attack. It's a bloody thunderstorm. Oh, don't try and cover it up. I know all about conspiracy theories. Oh, God. I once met Mohammed El Fayed in a lift. Can I have your attention, please? Ladies and gentlemen, will you please calm down for just one minute, please? Shut up! Not 7 Eleven. Thank you, Cheney. Now, if you'd all like to make your way down to the Hawaiian function room, all complaints will be handled there. No weather related complaints will be taken at reception. We also have some exclusive. Top class entertainment planned for you this lunchtime again down in the Hawaiian function room. You what? There will also be specialty cocktails and star prize bingo, where the full house prize will be a brand new laptop. Hey! What? You what? So, if you just like to follow Maggie and myself, we'll get you all sorted. Cocktails! Who wants cocktails? It's up past ten in the morning. Not being funny, but would you mind speaking for yourself? Uh, Come on, everybody, follow me. This way. Oh, yeah. 
and where's this laptop coming from? Not to mention the exclusive top class entertainment. Don't worry, just leave it to me. I know what I'm doing. Do yeah. you? Will you better? God. Janie, what the hell have you done with this weather? It's the middle of August. Hello, Johnny. I didn't know you were in town. Well, you know me. Mwah. Mwah. Always like to keep a low profile. Yeah, right. Now, we're refurbishing a new place across town, but there's no power because of the storm. Don't. We've had to unplug all the mobility scooters. People are staggering around. I haven't walked since the early 80s. <laughs> Got time for a coffee? Of course they have. Excuse me. What's being done about all this flooding? I'm all for water features, but not coming out of a lift. All complaints are being handled by our fully trained crisis team in the wine function room, under the stairs, end of the corridor. It's not a crisis team you need, it's a bloody pump. Janice? Sorry, love, do I know you? Johnny Neptune. Um, I mean, uh, Nelson. Johnny Nelson. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, well, you're bloody hell. <laughs> you don't look any different. I mean, that is a lie. You look better, if, if that's possible. Dun, dun, dun. You all right, love? Sorry, love. Where did you say the pump was? I mean, the Hawaiian crisis team. I mean, under <laughs> the, the stairs, Hawaiian crisis the end of the corridor, team. under the stairs. Oh, They're at the 7-Eleven memorial. Are you upset, man? Mm, let's go. Who's that? That is the only woman I've ever asked to marry me. And she said no. Christ! Talk about a lucky escape. We're going to have that coffee then. Oh, would you mind if we grab it a bit later? Yeah, no problem. I'm not going anywhere today. Clearly. Ain't you Miss Titanic? Can he help you? Eh. Uh. Yeah, I'll two minutes. Right, so, listen. Right. All you got to do is make a note of which rooms are flooded, right? Write them down and then read your housekeeping. I'm off to pulling a favour to try and get some entertainment on me. Oh, Dad. Yes. Can you tune it in for me? No, it doesn't need tuning in. But there's no display. How will I know which station is radio housekeeping? No, son. You press this button here and it goes straight through the housekeeping. And you tell them which rooms are flooded. OK? Oh, yeah. Cool. I'm going to text my mates. Never been on the radio before. I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> 424. Where's my nana? I don't know, son. Where's my dad? You know where he is? He went looking for some more towels. I said he went looking for towels. Thanks for telling me about the Hawaiian bunker. Oh, there he is. Where's Madge Bin Laden? <laughs> Don't know. Fitting. You all right? You look like you've seen a ghost. I'm fine. Can you get in that queue and tell him about the apartment? <sighs> OK. You sure you're all right? Yeah. I just need a bit of fresh air. Michael, save this table and get another chair for your nana. Michael. All right. Mikkel. Don't forget your brolly. Yeah, look, you sit there. Gavin will let them know about our apartments. No point in all of us queuing up. You're a good lad. Poor Gavin. Now, how are you feeling? Gavin's been dead worried about you since you had your accident in the pool. Well... Oh, shit. Yes. There have been developments, but both Donald and I have agreed we don't want to talk about them with other people. No, of course you don't. We're all on holiday. The they definitely do. The last thing you want to be do. doing is bringing people down with stories about hospitals and illnesses. I've got three months to live. Uh, well, that I wonder what entertainment they've got lined up. What the fuck? Oh, come on, cheer up. It's only a bit of rain. That's really quickly. We could all be dead this time next week. <laughs> Some more likely than others. <laughs> I'm sorry? Chief, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can I have one of these chairs? Yeah. Thanks. Uh, my name's Michael. 
What's your name? Page. Page. Like in a book. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Lord. You haven't got a spare one of those, have you, love? I'm sorry, it's a bit hard. It's my last one. No worries. Here you go. Jesus, you scared me. I'm all right. You just said you wanted one. I'm fine, thank you. You grew up? Of course I grew up. What a stupid thing to say. Yeah, that's pretty stupid. <laughs> I'm not going to get I'll book you there. How are you, Janet? Great. Really good, thanks. On holiday with my family, my husband and my family. Oh, listen, am I upsetting you? Yeah, clearly. No, you're not upsetting me. I... Johnny, the last time I saw you, I was a girl. A 17-year-old girl. You know, it's just weird seeing you after all this time. How old was he? All of a sudden, I'm back there. It's 1984. Oh. 1984, and... It's the end of the summer, and I ask you to marry me, and you say no, and you break my heart. And now he's well, bloody we long enough to get over it. Well, i uh, better get off. Uh, back to work. Back to the UK tomorrow. Uh, how, how's your mum? What a strange thing to ask. You never met her. I know, but I, I knew all about her. This is probably why I never met her. <laughs> My mother's in her 70s. And she's I bored. just wanted to come home, but she's determined to stay out here. Says she wants to run another business out here. She said, that Bruce Forsyth is still working. He's in his 90s. I told her, no, he can't be. He's still got all his own hair. Sorry, I'm waffling. Why did you say no, Janice? Because I'm sure he's nowhere near 90. We saw him on the telly the other week. He sang Mr. Bojangles and did the splits at the end. Why did you say no when I asked you to marry me? What? Oh. You think if I'd said yes, we'd still be living happily ever after? I went to the cinema on my own. What? The last time we were supposed to meet, you know, when you didn't turn up. Against all odds. Oh. Quite apt, really. Johnny. Made it back, Oh, my God. You were going to say something? Take care of yourself. Yeah. Uh-oh. That doesn't look like a sufficient answer. Not to him, at least. It was the best answer she could have given, but they he's probably gonna just about the worst holiday I've ever had. Cause problems. I mean it's been crap up until now, but at least the sun was shining. How's she leg? Oh I'm not sure. Let me check. My leg! Oh yeah, still broken. I was only asking. Hola, or you can cocktails for very thirsty people. Hey, you're right. I'm fine. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. Am I supposed to know what all this means? <laughs> That's vile. I'm going to get a coffee. Do you want one? Yeah, thanks. I was saying, don't mention about last night. Last night? In the shower cubicle next to Paul. What are you talking about? We were both really drunk. It was dark. I ripped your vest. Look, all I'm saying is, don't tell Nat we had sex, because... She still has feelings for you. Not that he still has feelings for me. Well, I think so. Which is why it makes us just a little bit awkward. Okay. Thank you for telling me. <laughs> oh. By the way, I did not have sex last night. And certainly not in the shower cubicle by the pool. Mm -mm. <laughs> there you go. 
Wasted. You all right? I think I'm gonna be sick. It's not like you could do any better. Dad, what's going on? Is this spin? When's it gonna stop? I've never seen out like it, son. I mean, I'm no Michael Fish, but even I know it shouldn't be boiling out one day and pissing buckets the next. I've told you, it's a conspiracy. What's that mean? <laughs> It means it's not long before the men in white coats arrive and put your nana in a yellow van with square wheels. Yeah. Special Oregon cocktails. And uh, one there, there's someone sitting there as well. I don't want one. I'm not drinking today. Yeah, you're all right. Leave it there. She might have it later. I won't. I've said I'm not drinking today. Put it down. She might change her mind. No, I won't. Dad, the free. If you want another one, you can just go and get one. <laughs> oh, that is vile. So you don't want this one? No, you're all right. Leave it there. <laughs> well, they're free, aren't they? Hiya. We all all right? Yeah. Where have you been? Went to the loo. Is that all right? As long as you don't let it happen again. <laughs> What's that you drinking? Cocktails. Don't drink it. Yeah. Bloody hell, that's rough. Yeah. Michael, go and get us a cup of tea. Mum, do you want anything? Oh, yeah, lovely cup of tea. Get me and your nana a cup of tea. Mick? I go on tea, two sugars. I'll have it as a chaser after my cocktail. Three cups of tea, Michael. Put a brandy in mine. So you weren't drinking? It's in tea, it doesn't count. Yeah, I'll remind you of that when you're singing with the band after your ninth cup of tea. Yeah. <laughs> And the moon hits your eyes. <laughs> Are you all right? No. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard to be a woman. <laughs> Giving all your love to just one man. <laughs> you had bad times. Good times doing things that you don't understand. Not a bad voice. No, yeah. She's got to look at that bomb and you see every now and again. You know the little bald fella? Same lived in face. You might be related. Is this honestly? <laughs> honestly, your idea of a good time? Of course it is. Rain belting down outside. Everybody pulling together, making their own entertainment. Look, you've got dominoes on the go. I dare say someone might get up and do a bit of karaoke. It's got a lovely wartime feel about it. That's not where anyway, I expect that to go, but... Ones. Some people are being flooded out. Two beautiful cocktails for two beautiful women. Not for us, thank you, darling. Three. Oh, these are special cocktails. Only one per... Three. Here. <laughs> Run, Mateo. No, Pauline. No. You've done so well. Now, listen to me. Listen to me. What did Dr. Noble say? One more drink, and that liver of yours will burst like an overfilled icing bag. <laughs> I'm 42. Single. Twice divorced. Financially and morally bankrupt. On holiday with my mother in Benidorm, in the driving, pissing rain. I have one rabbit cat which cannot be released from customs, and I am absolutely caked in thrush. And you tell me I don't deserve a drink? Come on, Pauline. Think about what you're doing. Remember when you met Roy Castle? When you were 12? And he asked you what you wanted to be when you grew up. And you said, a rodeo clown. Remember what he said to you? You can be anything you want to be. 
You don't want to be this. For the love of Roy. Put the drink down. Dedication. Uh-huh. Dedication. Dedication is what you need. If you want to be the best. Ah, if you want to beat the rest. Dedication's what you need. If you want to be a <laughs> record breaker. I'm gonna kill me. Oh, yeah. The third Joker origin story. And show the world you love him. Keep giving all the love you can. Oh, Paul. What are we going to do with you? Joker origin story confirmed. Three teas, please, and um, me and Anna said, can you whack a brandy in ours? Wait your turn. Shh. I saw you. Earlier on. Did you? Yes. You were making eyes at that girlie. She's through there, isn't she? I, I don't think she... Um... Don't think she what? Come on, spread it out. I don't think she likes me. No bollocks. <laughs> you want a beer? Um... Two pints of your strongest dagger. And one for the boy as well. <laughs> give you some advice. <laughs> what you have to do is just go in there and lay your cards on the table. None of this playing hard to get and being cool. A woman likes to know where she stands. Flattery. That's what you need. Michael, don't take this advice. That's been nice to someone, isn't it? Oh. Mm. <clears throat> That'd be nice. Nice doesn't come anywhere close. You're dealing with women here. <laughs> Got to make her feel uh, go, as though go. she's the most beautiful creature we ever drew pretty. Tell her, we like to be treated like ladies, made to feel special. Hmm. Wow, she's gonna die, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> You'll be surprised at the results. The bloody hell's going on here? You look real nice today, ma'am. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Is he pissed? Come on. Michael. Keep him coming, Jose. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, she's going to die. Yeah. Not an achy, breaky heart. You can buy my clothes when I'm gone. Or you can tell me friends just why the fool of them and laugh and joke the family on the phone. Fuck you, Billy Ray, sir. <laughs> you, can tell my heart you have three months to live. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't quite get my head around this. Well, I don't want to go too much into detail. Of course not. But yes, it's an hereditary problem that runs in the family. My father died when he was 51. Not far off that myself. Well, yes, none of us are getting any younger. It's going to be a difficult time ahead. Somehow, Jacqueline seems to be coping so far. <laughs> Yes, I can see that. You know, when Sammy Davis Jr. was told he only had a few months to live, he said, I must have packed several lifetimes into the last 60 years. <laughs> I feel very much the same. Except you're still in your late 40s. It's interesting. 
Sammy Davis and I seem to have led parallel lives. Well, yes, to look at you, you could have been brothers. Both natural performers, both suffered at the hands of mindless racism, both Jewish. I very nearly had my eye poked out last year at the Middlesbrough Swingers Association Summer Fetish Ball. I didn't know you were Jewish. Oh, yes, before I met Jacqueline, I went out with Dina, lovely Jewish girl from the Gorbals. Her father wouldn't let us get engaged until I converted. <laughs> Didn't work out in the end. But it was only the other week I realized I forgot to convert back. <laughs> Still, I don't suppose Jacqueline will worry too much. She's very broad minded. Shalom. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to tell you since Liam will be coming round with your cards and your dummies for today's big prize bingo. Oh. Four of you. Don't give me one. Can't be asked with all that rubbish. Don't give it here. I used to do six books at a time in the 70s, still keeping an eye on half a dozen kids and an husband with a wandering eye. No, Michael. Gonna do mine then? Yeah, pass it over. I thought you wanted to win the laptop. No, I'm not bothered. Off to play on the machines. Dad, is it alright for me to spend a few euros on the machines? Of course it is, son. You're on holiday. What, you want me to give it to you? Mm. What happened to all that money you've been saving up all year? You give it to me, Nana. Bloody hell! Oh. Michael, here. I want the change. Thanks, ma'am. Don't be. Unbelievable. Bin. He'll get it back. I'm doing him a favour. He'll have only wasted it on sweets and rubbish. What, as opposed to investing it in 200 Benson and Edges and a new frock? You can give it him back tonight. You can take it out of that three grand with interest. That money is for my future. And anyway, if you keep your trap shut for five minutes, I'm about to win him a twin top computer. Okay, gentlemen, It's not going to be like this for the rest of the week, is it? What's the weather? Our bloody opener. We've had over a dozen apartments completely wrecked already. We're going to have to transfer some of the people over to another hotel. Really? Yeah. And if they think the food's crap here, wait they go up to the hotel to Reno. Dear chef got taught to cook in prison. I tell you, I wouldn't exactly like to queue up to taste this prawn ring. Who? How's it going with Liam? You are? Les's son. Seems a nice kid. I say he's nice. He's the kind of lad we used to send out to shops for a tin of tartan paint. I'm not going out with anyone. I'm single. Single? Nice looking lass like you. You should have a boyfriend. Well, I used to go out with one of the barmen here, Mateo. I think he's playing it cool. Mateo, playing it cool. More like he can't remember you. Well, I'm kind of serious. He asked me to marry him. Yeah, you and all the others. Yes, darling. Can I have an orange juice, please? Of course you can, sweetheart. Oh, boy. Excuse me, is the seat taken? No. Please don't fuck it up, Michael. You look really nice. Do I? Yeah. I like your hair. It's really nice. Actually, not nice. Beautiful. Really beautiful. You're so cringe. That's great, though. Would you like a drink, darling? I'll have a Coke, please, and whatever the lady's having. <laughs> oh, I think she's got a drink. Yeah. Better go back. Are you going to Neptune's tonight? Yeah. Can I meet you there? Yeah. Okay. See you tonight. See you tonight. Let's go! Michael? Yeah? Light t shirt. Bro. There you go, love. You're a baller. She remembered my name. <laughs> oh. More than he usually do for me. <laughs> Bro. Two wow, he's ducks, good. The number two. Uh, no, that's one duck. Is it? So just, just one duck that time. Maggie's dead. Number ten. Maggie's dead? When was the last time he called Bingo? Uh. Key of the door. Thirty-four. Here the door is 21. This is rubbish! Mitch, be quiet. Since when did you turn into a bingo expert? Shut up! Yeah. Only 11. Uh, um, sorry, I mean uh, 11. Oh, he's taking the piss now. Shut, Shut up. up! Four and nine, the Brighton line. 
49. Oh, I only need seven to win. What, seven numbers? No, number seven, you idiot. All right, calm down. Eight and three, eight and three. Oh, hang on a minute, we're only supposed to go up to 50. So, scrap that last one. Pull it, pull it, pull it. And your next number out is, on its own, number six. Yes! Yes! I've won! I've won! I've won! It's me! I've won! Fuck the lot of you! <laughs> Stick it up your asses! You grey, flabby, lifeless asses! Look at you! Look at you! All sitting there, desperate to get your clemmy paws on the prize! Aching to get something for nothing, you blubbery, sweaty, vomitous faces, grey and bloated from an odious diet of takeaway food and reality TV. Well, not this time. I'm the winner, and you're all losers. You'll never do anything with your lives. No pride, no ambition. I hope you all die of shit. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. <laughs> well done. We'll give you a prize in Neptune's tonight again. Hello, boys. I think she's dead. <laughs> I think that's it for her, brothers. I'm going out tonight. I'm feeling all right. I'm going to let it all hang out. The best thing about being a woman is a prerogative to have a little fun. And oh, 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 I'm totally crazy. I can't have a lady. A man's shirt, short skirts. Oh, 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 I want to be free and yeah, feel all right. Feel like a woman. Don't tell me not to live, just sit and putter. Life's candy and the sun's a ball of butter. Who told you're allowed to rain on my parade? I want to march my band out. Not bad. How about this one? Blue Oyster Cult, Don't Fear the Reaper. I've heard of it. Good title, though. Hello. We don't want to disturb you, but we just want to say we hope you're feeling OK. Sit down, boys. Oh, we don't want to intrude, you know, with you not having much time left. Nonsense. Sit down. We're just looking at songs for Donald's funeral. Holy shit! Ooh, what about this one? Going underground by the jam. Not bad, but weren't we considering a cremation? Disco Inferno by Tina Turner. Burn, <laughs> baby, burn. Too obvious. Pardon me for breathing. But what do you have at your funeral, Gavin? Ding dong, the witch is dead. <laughs> I would have gone too soon by Michael Jackson's beautiful song. What if you live to be 90? Very doubtful. None taken. Here we are. I think I've got it. Go on. Well, you know you said there was no point getting a second opinion because this form of cancer's never been successfully treated. Yes. The verb, the drugs don't work. Perfect. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I know the concept of work is still slightly alien to you, but the idea is when people have got empty glasses in front of them, it means they're finished with them. I was having a power nap. I was having a power nap. <laughs> Who do you think you are, Jeff Capes? Who's Jeff Capes? Don't change the subject. <laughs> this bar isn't covered in empty glasses. In the next 30 seconds, you will be out of a job before you've even started. Bars. Everything all right, you one? Yeah, I'm OK. Yeah. Just brain damage. Doesn't sound like it. You know that Natalie? Well, that's been seen a bit of, I. I think she's losing interest in me. Oh, I'm I don't think she ever that. had it. Still, there's plenty more fish in the sea. So I'm going to ask her to marry me. I'm going to uh, kill right. myself. I don't think that's such a good idea, son. Why not? I think she'd make a great daughter-in-law. No, no, I don't mean that. It's just... Well... I think you should take things a bit slow, you know. 
A holiday romance is one thing, but I think it's a bit soon to be thinking about marriage. No, no. Fortune flavours the brave. Does it not? Yeah. Is that not a famous saying? Not exactly. Right. Because it just came to me in a dream. Son. Good luck, son. There'll be no luck involved, Dad. I hate this character, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I got you on my freedom. Sean Foster Connolly with the Bobby's Dad and Classic Don't Rain on My Parade. And don't forget, tomorrow it's 80s night. Oh, we man. wanna see Big A, Naf Jewelry. And fashion 30 years out of date. Actually, most of you can come just as you are. And now, before we move on to the karaoke, a great 80s track from a very good friend of mine, Mr. Johnny Neptune. Oh, no. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Mum, is it all right if I go sit at the bar? How can I just let you walk away? Just let you leave without a trace. God damn it, Johnny Neptune. When I stand here, taking every breath with you. Ma'am. Ma'am. You're the only one who really knew me at all. This is cringe, homie, I'm not gonna lie. How can you just walk away from me when all I can do is watch you Natalie. Leave? I need to ask you something. What? Outside. Can't you just ask me here? Outside. There's gonna be a fight, can I come and watch? Yeah. Make sure you get the first punch in that. It'll go down like a sack of shit. Make sure you have a whistle. The memory of your face. Take a look at me now. There's just an empty space. There's Mr. Goodyear, have a look. What the frig's up with you, misery goods? You're supposed to be on your holidays. Just a nice song. She's always been the same. She used to cry when they guessed the right house on through the keel. <laughs> What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. It's what makes you beautiful. And unique makes you my wife, who after all these years I still love with a passion and wouldn't change for the world. Wow, bro, you just saved your marriage and you on. have no idea. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, that's all we need on this holiday. Uh, it in the menopause like a bull at a gate. <laughs> bro, that was obliviously smooth. <laughs> You don't even have a clue. Can I just say I'm really glad he's at least doing it outside and not in front of everybody? At least for now. He's about to walk off on the flight back to the UK. Let's give him a good send off. Liam, is this going to take long? Because you can already leave a spoon standing up in that risotto as it is. <laughs> Sorry, love. <laughs> if you just. <laughs> oh, just lean no, Lean there. Don't bring her in there. Now, try. Oh. Natalie, will you marry me? What? Will you marry me? No! <laughs> Was that it? I can see. Liam! Liam! What'd you expect? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, shit. Sure. Do you know I missed you? Oh, they spoke to me since I've got here. I tried to give you space, but 
is hard for me. Space? We saw each other every day for Space. two weeks. You told me you loved me. We even spoke about marriage. Then I went home and I never heard from you again. Why didn't you call me? I lost my phone. I tried to remember your mobile, but I am no good with numbers. You have my email address, my home address. <laughs> I am even worse with words. I assumed you changed your number to get rid of me. You're a moron. Get rid of you? Natalie, you were the best thing that ever happened to me. I missed you so much. If you can find it in your heart to forgive me, you know where I am. Whatever that means. Right now, she's probably thinking, but I don't speak Italian. <laughs> I don't think so. She's my age. I was sat with her at the bar and reception this afternoon. Oh, yeah, I know the one. Has she been in here tonight? No, she won't be in here again. They're one of the families that were flooded out. They've been put in at other hotel. Ah. Uh. Oh, right. Um, where's the other hotel? It's right over the other side of Benidorm. You're all right? Okay, yeah. so she didn't stand you up. Yeah. Oh. Hey. I had a slice of your risotto. I hope you don't mind. So what did he want? Liam. Ah, oh, he asked me to marry him. That is the appropriate reaction. <laughs> oh, you can't say we haven't had a laugh on this holiday. <laughs> uh, are you all right? I think I'm in love. What? Right. Next karaoke cab off the rank is Donald with a cheery little number called... The jokes don't work. <laughs> hey, where have you been? I had a date. You what? What kind of date? A date with a girl. But she didn't turn up. Bloody hell, you kept that one quiet. <laughs> I really thought she was the one. She was perfect. You're like 11, worry, bro. Son. You'll know when the right one comes along. You're not even 11. Morning, Jam. All this talk of getting old. You up? I said he'll know when the right one it's comes along. Me down, my love. Absolutely. Like a cat in a bag. Bro, you have no Waiting idea. You really have no idea. This time I'm coming down. I could have sworn you said the bingo prize oh, was a laptop. No, no. Laptop. Well, what are we supposed to do with that? We're going home in two days. Ah, well, it's what you've won, but I mean, if you don't want it, I'll just have to take it back. I'm sorry about the confusion. Hang on. My daughter's coming back. She's the one that won the bingo. Now the drugs don't work. They just Colin, this young lady says you've won a dog in the bingo. A lap dog, not a laptop. Don't give that lady a dog. Yeah, but your mom was just explaining how it uh, might be a bit tricky, you know, taking the dog home. <laughs> um, so if you just pass him back, you know, we'll just leave it at that. Yeah, I'm not sure about the uh, policy of dogs here either. <laughs> I suppose we just didn't, you know, really think it through, like, you know. <laughs> so, uh, why don't I just take the dog back and get your hands off my dog? <clears throat> yeah, time to dip, homie. Hello, puppers. <laughs> I love you. 
<laughs> Do you love me? <laughs> the dog's terrified. That dog's terrified, yo. Where's Charlie? Uh, sorry? Where's me dog? You said you'd be two minutes. Um, I think we we'll might have a slight problem. Now the drugs don't work. They just make you worse, but I know I'll see your face again. Just give me the bloody dog back. It's not your dog, she's my dog. She she's good, Liza. Let she on it. Give me the dog. Give me the dog. Come back, we can't take it on the plane anyway. Oh, you some sort of mistake. Just pass the dog to me. Will it just give you? Me. Pass the dog to me. Get off my dog. Just pass it to me. Oh, oh, Is it too late to get the laptop? Ah! <laughs> Holy shit. Well, feel bad for Michael. Um, Pauline actually unintentionally gave him kind of good advice, I guess. Um, but... <laughs> Dear Lord, what a fucking disaster. Jesus. She's going to prison for dog murder now. <laughs> yeah, I'm just... I'm not feeling it with that ginger, bro. Like, I don't see how his character could possibly evolve. You know, it's... Like, moronic characters can be fun if they're fun. But he's just an idiot. <laughs> oh, boy. Surprise, you're still employed. Dear Lord. That's some nice looking food. <laughs> it's clearly what I was alluding to. Troy, how are you? Oh, what was that flash? I'm fine. Oh, God. No, it's bright sunshine. Did you see that? Troy, how are you? I'm fine. That was the glitch, I think. No, it's bright sunshine this morning. Yes, it was some kind of freak storm. Speaking of freaks, one second. I'm sorry, someone's sitting there. Hello, you're sitting in someone's chair. I have a number of friends who are homosexual. And both my parents <laughs> are chronic alcoholics. It doesn't mean I wish to sit with one at breakfast. Sorry, Troy, go on. How's your father today? Yes? Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. You wouldn't sit a hat. Your head is too big. Look, will you go away? Sorry, love, you can't sit there. He says I can't. Look, I tell you what, if you move, I'll open the bar now. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. Um, I'll get on the first plane this morning. Are you absolutely sure? Okay, okay. Call me later. Troy? I love you. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Hey, yeah, what is. about this then, eh? Oh, come on, misery chops. Even you can't put a downer on the fact that the sun's come out. Oh. That was Troy. Oh, I. How's his dad? Oh, God. I'll get us a coffee. Oh, that's better. Feel that some. Looks like your theory of yesterday's storm being a terrorist attack is it a dead end, man. <laughs> oh, don't you believe it? It's all part of the cover up. Oh, I've got something for you. I forgot to give you it last night. I'll bring it over in a minute. What's all that about? Third me. I don't know either. You have won second prize in a beauty contest. Donald and Jacqueline came joint first. Oh, shut up. <laughs> you should eat something. You'll fade away. And you know what I mean. Morning, boys. Space at your table. Oh, God, that's all I need. I'm going for a lie down. All right. See you in a bit. Was it something I said? Troy just called. His dad passed away last night. Oh, I am sorry. Yeah, it's a weird one. 
Troy didn't really know him. His dad got in touch with him when he knew he didn't have long to go. Oh, we've just been looking at coffins on the internet for <laughs> Donald. Shall I pop these up to him? No. <laughs> He's being buried tonight, so they're probably sorted, to be honest. Died yesterday and buried tonight? Did they get a last-minute cancellation? No. Troy's dad was a Muslim. Part of his religion to get buried within 24 hours. Oh. oh I actually didn't know that. Sound of that. No messing around, no okay. hassle. Plus, you're not that fussed on Paul. I think more and official. And you look lovely in a turban. <laughs> Mom. You're all right, love. Bloody hell, Michael. What have you done? Well, you said put plenty on. I know I did, but... Well, make sure you rub it in. Hey, go steady with that in the future. It's about three quid a bottle. Yeah. Three quid a bottle? When was the last time you bought sun cream? At least you won't get skin cancer. Michael, you could have saved me a bit. Well, sorry. Here you go. Thanks, ma'am. Mother, this is cooking oil. <laughs> That's a job for me. <laughs> it's the news I was telling you about off the fella who sang on the karaoke last night. Johnny Neptune. Thank you. Oh, I doubt it'll be for us. She's probably made a mistake. What's it say? I hope you don't think me rude, but I overheard you having a conversation about possibly looking for a business in Spain. A friend of mine has run into trouble with his bar. He just needs someone to take over the lease. 3,000 euros addressed below. Nosy bleeder, fancy listening to other people's <laughs> conversations. It's a scam. It's obvious, isn't it? I'm surprised they didn't ask for our bank details so his uncle, the ex-Prime Minister of Nigeria, can clear a cheque for $10 million. I don't think it would be a scam. Well, what makes you say that? You don't know him, do you? No. No, I don't. How much did you say they wanted? Three grand. They're checking the piss. That's what we got for the go-kart bet. It's a sign. It's a sign from Mel. You think this note is a sign from Mel from beyond the grave to tell you to open a bar in Benidorm on your own? Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> I've heard everything now. In saying that, I don't think he knew anybody in Nigeria. <laughs> Although he did once see Johnny Mathis in concert, so maybe there's a connection there. Right. I'll have a couple of hours in the sun. Then I'll go over and check this bar out. May be enough to this kill you. This whole rubbish about you staying here is just upsetting me. Why are you doing it? It was Mel's dream to have a successful business here in Benidorm. And I'm going to make sure that dream comes true. Oh, for God's sake. Where are you going now? I'm off for a piss. Or is that going to upset you, no? <sighs> Listen, son. All good things come to an end. And if I'm absolutely honest, I didn't think she was right for you. She's beautiful. Beauty's only skin deep. It's like the fella I've got a date with tonight. Now, if I found out he was only meeting up with me because of me looks, I'd drop him like a hot potato. Mm. You all right there, Prince? Look, you're going back with your mum tomorrow. It's all good timing. No. I'm going to give it one last go. Oh, God. She's like a mythical creature. I don't think I'll ever see anything like her again. He's never seen a black person before, has he? Uh, if I had a euro every time somebody said that about me. I believe it. Oh, I'm gonna miss all this. Oh, yes. Me too. Well, you're not going anywhere yet. It's me that's going first. Well, that's true. But you can be certain I won't be far behind you. Hello. I don't mean to bother you both, but I just wanted to say I'm so sorry to hear about you. Well, that you're not going to be, um, well, I mean, the fact that you've got... Three months to live. Oh, it sounds awful when you put it like that. <laughs> but factual. Wouldn't it be better to put it into weeks? If our Jeff were here, he'd be able to work that out for you. It all amounts to the same thing, whichever way you say it. Three months, 12 weeks, 84 days. Actually, it doesn't sound so bad when you say that. Didn't Phileas Frog go around the world in 80 days? You could have four days to recover. Well, we're not <laughs> moping around. We're planning a lovely service. We've got yeah. Jimmy Cricket. 
giving the eulogy. Oh, how do you know him? Everyone the show is brain damaged. For a brief spell many years so ago, do I. I still have quite a few connections. Donald used to handle Frankie Howard in the 70s, didn't you? Frequently. <laughs> How's your daughter? We saw her slumped over the bar earlier. We didn't like to bother her. Well, she's not too bad, thank you. She's on some medication that doesn't agree with her. Well, I'd better be off. I'll see you later. Does that medication be Another alcohol? Glass of medication? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, you get it. Good idea. We should stay at the Solana. What if Troy can't get me on my mobile? And don't panic. He's got my number as well. It'll do us good to get off to that place for a bit. No, I'm sorry. Unless you tell me where we're going, I'm turning back. Oh, you are such a spoil sport. Okay. Yeah. Look. Benador Museum of Culture. Is this a joke? No. I thought you were into museums and stuff. Look, it's open 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. I thought we could spend the day there. I'm not sure the history of the full English breakfast will fill the next <laughs> eight hours. Oh, well, let's just forget it then. I tell you what, let's go back, sit on our asses and listen to Donald talk about catering packs of embalming fluid. No, Kenneth. Kenneth! I I'm sorry. I was being ungrateful. It's not exactly the Guggenheim, but no. Let's go. It'll be fun. Thing about the Google Heim, if it's crap, it hasn't got a beach next to it. The <laughs> Google Heim. The <laughs> Google Heim. Uh, Mateo. what goes on? My slightly greasy but very accommodating colleague will be with you shortly, Matteo. Oh, hola. Welcome to the Solana. My name is Matteo. How can I help you? Hi, we're Banana Rama. Banani who? Banana Rama. Nice names. We're the group book for your 80s night. We're called Banana Rama. That is Banana, Banana Rama. Banana Rama. This is a joke name, Jess. Hello. Are you the tribute act? We're Banana Rama. Isn't there supposed to be three of you? Where's the other one? Yeah, she left in 1988. How can you be a Banana Rama tribute band if there's only two of you? We're not a tribute band. We are Banana Rama. Yeah, sure you are. We had a Queen tribute act here last week. Lead singer was the same. Changed his name by deed, pal. I think that Here's actually is Banana Rama, dude. Time. Big black tash. Lives his life exactly like Freddie Mercury. His wife wasn't too thrilled about it. But that's show business, I suppose. We're not a tribute act. I'm Sarah Dallin. This is Karen Woodward. And we are Banana Rama. Here we are. So you're telling me that we've booked a real Banana Rama for 400 euros? We've been a bit quiet lately. Well, if you are the real thing, I suppose you probably don't need the money. Is money your manager, George Michael? No. Right. Well, Matteo will show you to your room when you're ready, and good luck with that. And just so you know, real banana rama or not, if there's not three of you on the stage tonight, you won't get paid. So, which one of you is banana? <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, at the Legion of Doom. Seeing if I can cut through this. You've got a broken leg. I know. And I've also got absolutely no chance of getting a shag with this plaster on it. Tommy, you won't be able to walk. It's not walking I'm interested in doing. No, you won't be able to walk for the rest of your life. Don't exaggerate. Natalie, can I have a word? No. <laughs> Sam, I'm warning you, you'll regret this. Why is it? You're always fighting men off and I can't get a look in. Because you're an asshole. quality than quantity. I haven't got either. I mean, what's wrong with me? Seriously, a lot. plaster on my leg or not, I'm fit. You tell me what self-respecting man wouldn't want a slice of this. Maybe you're just trying a bit too hard. That just and you're an back asshole. And let them come to you. Works for me. Yeah, I can see that. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Oh, God. Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds do shake the darling buds of May. <laughs> and kill summer's myself. lease hath all too short a date. Sometime too hot the eye of heaven shines. 
and often is his gold complexion oh. dimmed. And every fair from fair sometime declines <laughs> by chance or nature's changing course untrimmed. I'm getting another drink. Do you want one? Yeah, go on then. Yeah. <laughs> You ain't got an axe or have you? <laughs> She's just not into you, Omi. Oh, hello. Um, can I have a mixed fruit juice and a vodka and diet coke, please? Double? Um, better make it a single. It's gonna be a long day. You are coming to the 80s night tonight? Not sure. See how my friend feels. Oh, we have banani rama. Very good. Um, Mateo? Mm hmm? Oh, we wow. have a chat tonight. I don't mean two minutes, I mean a proper chat. Sure. It's my night off tonight. I'll meet you in Neptune's. Then maybe we'll go somewhere else. Okay. See you later. See you later. Alligator. Yeah. Hey, amigo. Hey. I need your help. What can I do for you, my little tranny friend? Look. I'm not one to go pulling in favors, but, well, you know how I kind of saved your job? Leslie, you did not save my job. I lost my job, and you, you make it happen again. How'd you say? I, I got your job back. You got me my job back. It's what I'm saying. And for this, I will help you in any way I can. I owe you, brother. I mean, sister. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, I've got a date tonight. Really? No problem, I will work for you. You go out, you have fun, meet the men of your dreams, marry, have little tranny babies, all is good. <laughs> no, I've got someone to come with me shift, but I need somebody to go with me. Go with you? Yeah, it's kind of a, a double date. What is double date? Well, I need to take a friend for his friend. No, <sighs> no, 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 <laughs> no. I am not a homosexual gay. Uh, uh. Yes, you no, are. No, no, you wouldn't have to do anything. Just sit there. I'll even pay for the meal. No, this is not going to happen. Didn't he fuck right. Troy? Okay. So me getting you your job back wasn't such a big deal after all. Yes, please. Orange juice, please. Orange juice, yes, please. Come on up. You all right, son? How's it going? Not great. Oh, um, I brought you this. Thought you could wear it for your date tonight. Oh, thanks, son. But, uh, I'm not going now. But you were really looking forward to it. Well, never mind, eh? Guilt, 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 guilt. He's roasting and act like he's straight. I've seen the show. I would just have to sit at the table. That's all. You're not We're going straight. going to dodgy clubs in the old town after. All you got to do is eat. <laughs> okay, Cinderella, <laughs> you will have your balls. <laughs> oh, hey, man. I could kiss you. Hey, you see. Oh, I, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'd love to move to Spain, Nana. Swimming on the beach in my lunch hour at school. Cool. Nobody's <laughs> asking you to move to Spain. You can't just start running a business in a foreign country all on your own. Me Mel did it before. And look what a roaring success that was. Exactly. You and Mel did it before. You're on your own now. Oh, thanks for reminding me. For your information, I am staying in Benidorm. I'm going to run a successful business and I'm going to do it for Mel. Here we are, the Batley Arms. Hang on, wasn't this? Mel's mobility shop. I told you, it's a sign. Excuse me, we're looking for the owner. Oh, I'm sorry, love. Is... Oh, hello, Madge. How are you doing? Oh, Christ, not oh, you. This isn't your bar, is it? No, 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 it's Freddie Coleman's bar. You know Freddie? He used to do a drag act at the Queen's in the old town. Wife left him early in the year. He was gutted. She took all his best frocks. Anyway, listen to me banging on. Have a seat, what can I get you? We're here on business, not pleasure. When's he back? What, Freddy? 
He's in the UK, a tournament, the Grumbleweeds. I thought this place was for sale. Oh, it is. Well, not for sale as such, but he needs someone to take over the place. I've heard he wants three grand. I'll give him a grand, not a penny more. Oh, I, I think you've missed the point. It's a five-year lease. He pays you three grand to take it over. Freddie's sweating his bollocks off doing eight shows a week in a nylon wig just to keep this place afloat. You what? It's happening all over Benidorm. Too many bars and not enough tourists. Well, that's not true. There are enough tourists. They just aren't spending the money. Right, come on. We've heard enough. Madge? All right. Thanks, son. Come on, ma'am. Have a drink before you go. 90 cents a pint, cheaper than Benny. Sorry, love, it's all inclusive at the Solana. Aye. That's the problem. Yeah. Never mind, ma'am. I suppose it's a lucky escape in some ways. You don't want to go limping from one disaster to another. I'm sorry, Mel. I tried. I tried. Damn, homie. That's sad. <laughs> Life's a beach. That's close, isn't it? Well, I'd say I was surprised, but it would, of course, be a filthy lie. I can't understand it. It's in the guidebook. Benidorm on a budget, 1999. Ha! <laughs> We're not far from the beach. And I brought us a couple of towels just in case. Not far from the beach? It's taken two buses and a 15-minute walk to get here. Well, no, according to this guidebook, there's a lovely little cove beach two minutes down this road. Well, I hope they've not moved it since 1999. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, still there, yeah. The winning of a kiss. <gasps> Gorgeous. The beginning of life. Good thing about using an out-of-date guidebook. You can sometimes come across a lost treasure. Absolutely. Kenneth's not gonna make a move on it, is he? That's not a good move, if so. Well, I think 40 winks may be in order. I hope the sound of the waves lapping against the shore isn't too intrusive. I think I'll cope. How delicious is the dreaming of a touch Breathing in harmony, singing oh, a melody Two hearts in tune for love ah. Nice. You really should eat something, you know. I'm not hungry. Did you get any sleep last night? What day is it today? Look, Pauline, <laughs> I think we need to talk. Hola. Two more cocktails. Sorry, no more cocktails. What do you mean, no more cocktails? It's two o'clock in the afternoon. No more cocktails for you. I beg your pardon? My boss, she say, do not serve the angry alcoholic lesbian. She drink too much. Say that again. My boss, she say, do not serve the angry alcoholic lesbian. She drink too much. So, apart from your own narrow-minded prejudices, on what evidence are you basing your wild assumption that I'm an alcoholic? Um, you drink all day and all night. You do not eat. You stagger around smelling of alcohol. You cannot remember which room you are staying. You find it difficult to stand without swaying from side to side and you spend every night sitting on your balcony, singing and crying until the early hours of the morning. And just because of that, you assume I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> I have to get on with my work. Fine. If you won't get me a drink, I'll get one myself. Hey, where are you going? No, Pauline, come back. I'll get you some mouthwash from upstairs. There's alcohol in that. <laughs> Large gin and tonic, please. I'm sorry, Pet, I can't serve you with alcohol. Why don't you have a nice soft drink and a bite to eat? And on what grounds are you not serving me? If it's because you think I'm drunk, I can assure you, I'm stone cold sober. Stone cold What's dead. What's going on here? If it is your policy to no longer serve holidaymakers once they are pissed, then I suggest after 11 a.m. you turn this into a fucking juice bar. This is Benidorm. 95% of the people here are assholes 24 hours a day. 
You can't get pisses on holiday. Maybe when? the dog didn't die. In the name of Paul Gascoigne, can you? It was me. I asked them to not serve you. I'm sorry, Pauline. It was me. And so, finally, Judas Iscariot. <laughs> At least Jesus was betrayed with a kiss. <laughs> I was only thinking of your health. We can review the situation tomorrow. I do need you to think of my health. And I do need you to review the situation. And I, I certainly do need a drink. There you go, John, and one large vote and orange. <laughs> oh. Come away. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nice! Oh, 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 you can see why Jeff doesn't talk to her. Oh my god. <laughs> you got prank, Toby. Morning. Oh, slept slightly longer than I intended. Oh. One of the perks have been on holiday. Yeah, got you a drink. Still cold. Thank you. I'm afraid it's not quite as exclusive as it was an hour ago. It's still practically paradise compared to the main beach. You can say that again. Yeah. I think this is the hottest it's been since we got here, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. They made that guy wear a phone because he's walking past the camera. Right, I think it's time to cool off. He feels it realize. You're not coming in. Oh, hello. <laughs> no, just a paddle for me, I think. It's quite cold. Can you not swim? I swim very well, thank you. I just don't want to go in. OK, well, let me know if you need a hand. I came top of my class in breaststroke. Yes, I'm sure you did. Huh? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> my boat! My boat! <laughs> My boat. Oh, God. Don't worry. I got your boat. Thank you. It should dry out if you leave it in the sun for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you! You! Everything all right? No, everything's not all right. Benidorm Museum of Culture, you knew very well it wasn't open. I didn't. I didn't know that. Ha! All right. I knew there was a gay nudist beach nearby, but I didn't know the museum was shut. You said you liked it here. I liked it as an empty... <gasps> Beach, oh, not full of degenerates. Full of what? They're not degenerates. The men stripping off to get a tan. You know what your problem is, don't you? No. Do enlighten me. You are a dry, narrow-minded, petty, tight-assed, vicious, self-loathing homosexual. You hate these people because they're living their lives exactly how you'd like to live yours, but you just haven't got the balls. You're sacked. Do you hear me? You're sacked. You can't sack me. We're not at work. You are sacked. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what. You can't sack me because I resigned. Do you hear me? I resign. You can't resign after you've been sacked. No. Do you want your book back or not? Oh, Jesus Christ! You have to excuse my friend, he's never seen a penis before. <laughs> Not even his own. I want your things out of the apartment by sundown. By sundown? Who do you think you are, Clint Eastwood? <sighs> Thanks. Sorry about that. Oh. Go for a dip while this dries off. Be careful, it's a bit cold. Could have fooled me. My head was in his butt crack. <laughs> Oh dear, ridiculous name. Mind you, not as ridiculous as some of your outfits. <laughs> I remember the first time you bent over in that leopard skin song. I thought Mick was going to pass out. Yeah, I remember that too. <laughs> singing weren't up to much either. And what with all that? Plus your snoring, sweating, constant complaining about your bad back. I don't Mood. think there's ever been anyone on earth who loved someone as much as I loved you. So, what do you think about this bar then? Looks tired and run down. Smiles away from the main drag. 
Looks like it's not taken a euro in weeks. And I literally can't give the lease away. But something tells me that's not how Mel Harvey would look at it. What do you say? Should I go for it? I need you to tell me. Just because you're not here anymore doesn't mean I've stopped relying on you. Are you ready, now? Are you all right? Front door was open. I could hear voices. I was just having a chat. A chat? Who with? There's nobody here. With Mel. Oh, Mother. Do you want to stay in tonight? I could sit with you if you want. What would I want to stay indoors for? Sitting in a miserable porky room watching carry-on films in German. No, thank you. Sounds good to me. Come on. Let's be off. Carry on screaming. Carry on screaming. Oh, you're all right. Do you need a push? No, it's not that. I just won't budge. Hang on, there's something stuck round your back wheel. Wait there. Right, move forward a bit. Oh, go on. That's it. Oh. Bloody hell. It's no wonder you couldn't go anywhere. Must have fallen off Sunday's balcony. <sighs> it's Jesus. Right. Do you know what you're doing now? Oh, yes. I know exactly what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Oh, 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 Amadeus. I come and rock me, Amadeus. Amadeus, Amadeus. Amadeus, Amadeus, Amadeus. Amadeus, Amadeus, Amadeus. Oh, oh, Amadeus. Keep an eye on that one, will ya? Sorry, Janie, tonight's my night off. What are you doing here, then? I'm here to meet Leslie. Oh, yeah. You two got odd days, have ya? Yes. You all set? Okay, no problem. Listen, Matthew, you know you're doing this because without me, you wouldn't have a job. Yes, I know this. And I'm asking a big favour, but without my help, you wouldn't be working. Okay. And the way things are in Benidorm at the moment, there's no guarantee you would have got another job. I know. I know I owe you big time, Leslie. This is why I'm coming with you. Okay, it's just that there's one aspect of the date I forgot to tell you. Yes! Y'all are doing Touch me, touch me I want to feel your body Your heart beating next to mine Cause I want your body Somebody go tip her over Fuck off! You are interested. What am I supposed to say to that? You're a nice guy, but it would never work. I think it could work. I don't mean to be cruel, but Bro, call the police. You're not my type. I think I am your type. Call Flip, the police. For God's sake! And the next person we're calling on is Mick Garvey. Come on, Mick, let's hear it for you. Oh my God, what you doing? Okay, join in if you know the Oh my God, are you doing good? You to me are everything. The, the sweetest song that I could sing. Liam, I'm getting back with Mateo. Mateo? He treated you so badly. Yeah, well, people change. Move it, sad boy. I think you're up next. They just said something about simple minds. That's a good rose, my boy. Goodbye. For real. Bro, hold the I'm putting this down for Ireland in the stream. 
You'll have to be Kenny Rogers. Sorry, but you ain't got the tits to Bro, be Dolly. What the fuck is wrong with you? What actually is wrong? Take me dancing tonight. Come on, join in. How did it dad? I know you don't believe me when I say you're sacked. Well, just chill out, will you? I'm not bothered. I'm on holiday. You're on holiday for another 24 hours. When Troy gets here tomorrow, you're going back home. That was always the agreement. Well, no, that was the agreement if I was going back to work. As I'm not, I thought I'd check into another room and stay for one more week. I don't think there's any rush to start the tribunal, do you? Tribunal? Unfair dismissal. Oh, here you go. Found a great song for you. Elton John. Sorry seems to be the hardest word. I think you're doing really well tonight. Doing really well? What on earth do you mean? Well, you know, you're laying off the drink a bit. Add a wash, run a comb through your hair. You make it sound as though I can't function without alcohol. You can't function with alcohol. Bro. People are looking at me. Yeah. Because you look nice. I look okay. You look great. This skirt is not too short. I don't want to look, how do you say, easy. <laughs> a man can never be too rich in a skirt can never be too short. You know I'm not enjoying this. Oh, absolutely. You look like you are. I'm enjoying this. Let's go somewhere else tonight. I can't, I'm seeing Mateo. We're just having a chat. Anyway, it's Bananarama tonight. Bananarama tribute acts. No, it's... There'll be three blokes in drag miming. It's actually we Bananarama. Dance. Plus, the drinks near are free. We've not got any money. Yeah, I really can't wait to have a dance. Thank you very much. Good night, Bananarama. I almost forgot about that. Where's Bananarama? with another great 80s number. From the Caminards, let's hear it for Liam. Hi. This character is the worst, bro. Like, I've heard, I've seen so many comments saying, oh, 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 don't worry, Liam gets better. How? Don't actually tell me how, but you get what I mean. Like, how? I, like this, I, 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 I've, I, I, I don't know how he could possibly get better. Like this is the worst shit I've ever seen. Like uh, this is, look at this. I'm so uncomfortable watching this. Legitimately. So fucking weird. Leave me this way. Oh my god. Let's go. You can see Mateo tomorrow. Excuse me. Do you know where Mateo is? He left ages ago. It's his nice after night. I think he's on some sort of date. Come on. We're going out. But where are we going? Anyone? I thought we didn't have any money. Why not? Doctors. You got tits. This dude needs to get hit in the fucking face, bro. Yeah, we'll go. This is us. Wait, wait, we cannot go in here. What are you talking about, man? Best restaurant in Penadomus. No, you don't understand. I used to work here. I know all the staff, and Lorenzo, the owner, I have known since I was a little boy. Don't you mean since you were a little girl? <laughs> yeah, they cannot see me like this. 
Go inside and tell your friends we go somewhere else. Oh, you joking, man. Saturday night, we'll never get a table anywhere decent. Anyway, nobody's gonna recognize you dressed like that. Yes, they okay. will. Okay, then I go. Look, look, hang on. Look, for God's sake, man, stay there. Two minutes. Hurry. What are you looking at? <laughs> That's a fish menu <laughs> tonight. What do you recommend? Uh, I usually tend to go for something fishy, but Jacqueline prefers the chorizo sausage insider. I beg your pardon? Chorizo. They also do in red wine, but Jacqueline prefers the sausage insider. <laughs> <laughs> Talking of your lovely wife, Donald, where is she? Yeah, where is she? She met two very attractive ladies this afternoon, and well, let's just say they made her an offer she couldn't. She's gonna be a banana rama. She's gonna be a banana rama. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're enjoying our eighties night here at Neptune's. Well, it's only gonna get better as I introduce to you the fabulous banana rama. Yes. Oh my god, it's Jacqueline! And Bananarama. Bro, that legitimately is Bananarama, I'm pretty sure. Excuse me. Do you have a light? Of course. Mm. Oh, gracias. De nada. You're waiting for somebody? Yeah. Been waiting long? Mm. Too long. Slow night, is it? I cannot go inside the restaurant because I know me in there. Ah, I see. Yes, and I do not want to cause a scene. No. You wouldn't want to do that. You got anywhere to go? No. The problem is I have worked all over town. Really? Yes. I suppose we could go to a hotel, but over the years I have worked in most of those two. Bloody hell, so you have um, worked all your life then? <laughs> of course. What else can I do? <laughs> yeah, I see your point. You can always come to my place. You have a place? Yeah. Where is it? I need somewhere close by. I don't want this to take all night. I really need to get out of these knickers. <laughs> Easy, Tiger. It's only a couple of streets away. Good. But first, I need to know what kind of price we're looking at. Oh, not too expensive. No, I didn't think so. 20 euros per head. Hmm? Carlos, trae la furgoneta que tenemos auto. I'm arresting you for soliciting in a public place. What? What are you talking about? I thought you had a restaurant. I am waiting for my friend. I am not a whore. I am a barman. What's wrong? Hey, soy la puta. I had told you before, I'm not a whore. I work in a hotel. Please, I believe that you were. I thought you had a restaurant. You cheated me. You were lying to me. Hey, leave me alone. She's just trying to earn a living. Yeah, fascists. Natalie, this is not how it looks. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly how it looks. I can't understand it. What's here, man? Cool. One in the middle's let us off go a bit. 
not be Zach, that's Jacqueline. Is it? Yeah. I never knew she was in Banana Rat. <laughs> she is now. Bro, you need professional help. Or just like an uppercut. <laughs> hey you, what's in that drink? Just fruit juice? Yeah, it better be. So you still coming to live with us for a bit then, Nana? Yeah, just until the council reouses her. I can talk for myself, thank you, Janice. No, son. I've got a lovely two-bedroom flat sorted. Hey, nice one, Madge. No point hanging about, is there? <laughs> when did you sort this out? I haven't, but I will do first thing in the morning. That's what I like about you, Madge. You don't let the grass grow under your wheels. Where is it, Nana? Are you still going to be near us? Oh, very close. Well, close to where you are right now. Mm -hmm. It's above that bar we looked at. You are? I'm taking on that bar. Oh, Mother, not again. What do you mean, not again? You don't know what you're doing. It was different when you were with Mel, but you're on your own now. Thanks for reminding me. You know Again. what I mean? No, she's not. What? She's not on her own. How do you fancy a business partner? You what? What, so we're going to live in Spain? Whoa, whoa, hang on a minute. When did you change your tune? You know what a stubborn old get she is. You're not going to talk her out of it. And if you can't beat them, you may as well join them. Bet! Whoa! What with... Just everyone, hang on a minute. Yeah. I think we've all had a bit too much to drink. If you want something to do, what's wrong with coming home and working in one of the sunbed shops? Well, I have artificial sun when I can stay here and have the real thing. Well, hey, I'll drink to that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about this in the morning. How much for a dance, Nana? Do you want to come? No, she doesn't like home. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll have a dance with your son. <laughs> Come on. What? As I said, if you can't beat him, join him. This feels like a series finale, honestly. I don't think it... No, there's still two more episodes, I think, but that felt like a series finale. That seriously was a really fun ending, though. Um, that, that was a really fun episode. Probably the best... That was probably the best episode of the whole series, I think. So let's review the positives and negatives, or what I liked and didn't like. Um, Pauline's character arc has been hilarious. She's a goddamn menace to society. She's fucking chugging mouthwash to get drunk. <laughs> Good lord. The stuff with Kenneth... A Gavin at the bo at the beach was fucking hilarious, but man, that was a lot of ass. I don't know if I can censor all that ass. I might just have to just risk it. This video's not going to be not monetized anyway. They don't usually let me monetize Ben Yeah, I might as well just leave it on. Um, but he, man, like Liam is just like, it's, it's like, it's uncomfortable levels of creepy, bro. Like it's uncomfortable levels of creepy now. Like before he was just a nerd and now it's gotten like, it's gotten fucking weird. To this point, like it's gotten uncomfortable levels of weird. So, yeah, I'm not I'm not digging the storylines that he's in. I'm just I'm not digging it. I'm really not. But everything else is good. I think I just hopefully there's less of him because Christ Almighty, I'll tell you what. And the, the Mateo stuff with um with Leslie was hilarious too. Um, but and the ending was fun. That actually was Bananarama. So I mean. Oh, this is a fun. This is a very fun ending. It felt like a series finale. Um, but uh, I don't. We got two episodes left, so we actually are gonna finish series four next month. Uh, but for now, that is it for my this month's Benadorm Butt double header. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. The videos, if you if you'd like the videos, leave them a like.
If you didn't like it, don't go well, follow any of my social media links, my Twitch, my streamer, single A, my second channel, free views, my Twitter phone, follow me on my Patreon. If you want to support me or, or my daily motion, all things are in the video description down below. As well as the Twitch Files channel and the community Reddit. Thank you to all my patrons also who are named in the video description. If you didn't know, you can be patron on me for as little as one dollar one pound. You get extra reaction videos as well as reading comments up to a day early, sometimes more. Oh, excuse me. And of course, you get your name in the video description. For all that being said, though, my name is Tanford. This has been at uh, Reactions 26 and 27, I believe, to Bendorm. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.